Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs, looking at your recent past, your current energy and your immediate future, answering the question what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. As I do in all of my readings, I've pulled the overall energy and clarified those messages as well as the overall theme for the reading, which we'll jump into in just a second, but I still have the tarot deck we'll be using as well as the clarification deck and the advice deck that I'll be using to close out the reading within the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So please remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. All right, Aquarius, in your recent past, you have the Five of Cups withhold your vision. Um, quite a bit of disappointment, sadness, let down in your recent past energy. Um, disappointment kind of really seems to be the key word for this energy. I feel as if a lot of expectations weren't met, and I feel as if a lot of... Um, kind of like it feels like I don't know if you had a certain vision for a goal or an outcome or just maybe your life in general and as of how things played out in your recent past I feel like it it feels to you as if you've gotten further away from that vision but you still have holds your vision so the universe is still saying it's still possible what you desire is possible um, things are just the, the way that it's coming into uh, fruition is is going to be a little bit different because in your current energy you have work through your fears with the seven of wands in reverse so in your current energy I do feel as if you're having to face a lot of fear um, a lot of things probably I want to say this and it, but I don't want it to be taken like I don't know I, I always get a get a little bit of afraid of, of how triggering things can come out when they're so blunt but I feel like things are not as bad as they seem right now now I'm not saying they don't seem bad like I don't want that to feel invalidating but what I'm saying is I feel like the fear that you're experiencing is kind of um, making things seem worse than they are when it comes to how things are actually gonna play out for you because remember you still have holds your vision so even though things like, yeah, it's like things seem worse than they really are or than they're really gonna be in the end, which is why you have this overall energy of discernment here. Um, this discernment card is very much, which is funny because I actually pulled that and I was like, I don't really know how that ties in the reading. I guess I'll, I'll figure it out when I start channeling it. And that's exactly what happened is I feel like you're needing to be very, um, very careful in, in how you're perceiving your current reality, making sure that you're not seeing it through the illusion of, of fear and doubt and insecurity and making sure that you're trying as hard as you can to lean on faith and, and lean on the universe for the best possible outcome. Because I actually feel, it, it. I don't think it seems like it, and I feel like it probably seems very opposite of it, but I do actually feel as if things are working out for you because then in your immediate future, you have a personal issue reaches a resolution with this Four of Wands. Now, this Four of Wands very much feels like finish line energy. I mean, like you see these people like cheering for you. Um, so whatever it is that, I don't know, maybe it's a cycle, maybe it's uh, an outcome or something like an actual solution to money problems or something of that sort, I feel as if you're, you know, it seems a lot worse than they are, then things seem a lot worse than they are, but I do feel like a resolution is on the horizon for you. So I feel like that's why you, you know, whenever we kind of take steps in faith and, and that faith can be whatever it, it means to you. Faith in yourself, faith in your abilities, faith in the universe, faith in God, your higher self, your angels, your spiritual team, you know, whatever re resonates with you. But when you can lean on faith that things are going to work out for you and take steps in that direction, typically, um, who was it? Joseph Campbell, a philosopher, he's a philosopher, once said, um, take one step toward the gods and they'll take 10 towards you. So when you take a step in faith um, and believing that everything's going to work out, the universe really will shift to kind of meet you there. So I feel like although things haven't felt very positive for you recently, Aquarius, I do feel as if this is still a very positive reading. Um, let's see, what is your recent past hold? Hold your vision with the five of cups. Recent past for Aquarius, one more. Yeah.
Yeah, the Three of Swords. I mean, man. With the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So it feels like something that you you invested in, put a lot of time and energy into. It, it, it ended, or maybe not ended, but resulted in um, heartbreak here. It feels like there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of really tough energies that you were having to kind of navigate here in your recent past. A lot of emotional energy. Um, and I feel like that's why I was so careful with delivering that message of like things aren't as bad as they seem. Because again, I don't want to invalidate your experience and make you feel like you're being over dramatic or too emotional. Because no, this experience that you're going through is obviously very painful. But in the bigger picture of like how things can turn out for you, I feel like that's what I was trying to present with that message. So hopefully that was received well. But let's get more here. Recent past for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know about their recent past? Queen of Wands with a strength in reverse. Interesting. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Blindsided. Rug ripped out from underneath you. Could be financial struggles. Um, something hit you kind of hard here. Now this Queen of Wands, it feels like this is another energy. Something that was outside of your control. Kind of hit you. Hit you really hard here. Now the strength in reverse, that can be an energy of making you feel... Um, kind of powerless. Yeah, it's like you felt powerless in this situation. You felt as if um, maybe the universe was out to get you in, in, in some kind of way. But I don't feel like, I don't know, I still, I, I'm going to stick, stick with it because I feel it in your current energy that things aren't as bad as they might seem. And they might seem pretty tough. What else does Aquarius need to know? recent past. So blindsided, rug ripped out from underneath you. Something that um, maybe you didn't really expect or you didn't want to see it for what it is could be another thing. Like maybe like looking back, you're like, oh yeah, now I see the signs, but you didn't see it when it was happening. Very blindsided in this situation. Aquarius's recent past. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's the seven of wands in reverse again. So A swift change in your circumstances. Swift is the word. I feel like maybe, I don't know, like you had to move because of it or like move homes or you had to get another job. I don't know, like had to find another job. Something about your circumstances changed very quickly, very unexpectedly. It feels like you didn't have a lot of time to prepare or plan for how things unfolded here. Um, and now I feel like that's why you're experiencing a lot of fear because there's kind of this energy of like, is everything going to be okay? Like, am I going to be okay? Um, and the answer to that is yes. At least for those of you who's reading this is. Um, all right, current energy for Aquarius. I'm not here to guarantee outcomes, but I can always tell you that even when we can't really see it, everything really is happening for us, not to us. Um, at least that's how, you know, I try to see things because you kind of, you have a, you have a choice, right? When, when you're going through really difficult times, you have this choice and you can allow those difficult, difficult times to take you down, to, to you know, to um, define you and create your experience in a negative way. Or you can look at them from this perspective of like, what do I need to learn from this? What is the universe trying to teach me in this moment? How could this be happening for me? And when you can look at it from that perspective, you kind of look at your life more as being a student, you know, here to learn, here to grow, here to evolve, all for the higher good of getting to better places. But when you look at it from this perspective of like everything is happening to me, not for me, then it just kind of feels like the world is out to get you. And I've been there, you know, and I get it. And sometimes it really does feel like that. But I do feel like, I don't know, I, and even in my experience, when I was experiencing like the depths of my mental health issues, depression, anxiety, like suicidal ideation, like I was not in a good place. And now looking back, I'm like, you know, it's interesting not to invalidate the way I felt, but things weren't as bad as I made them out to be in my head because of how everything led me to where I am today. And so I feel like this is one of those readings of being like, you know, sometimes where we are is the purpose is to get us to where we're going. 
Okay, what does Aquarius need to know regarding their current energy? Roots work through your fears with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Current energy for Aquarius, the Six of Pentacles, and the, oh, in reverse, okay, and the Devil in reverse. No, upright. Weird. Okay. Is that cross? Yeah. Okay. Devil with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I was talking to myself there for a second. Nine of Swords. A lot of fear about how things are going to end up. That's the biggest thing. A lot of anxiety about where you're going to end up. Because that's kind of what I get. I feel like things are very unknown right now. Now this devil energy is interesting. Because <laughs> trying to, again, I, I want to be careful about the way that I present this message. I feel like there is an outcome or is an outcome that you very attached to. You know, I need this person or I need this to work out or this specific path to happen in this specific way and things aren't going that way. So in your mind, things seem worse than they are because, be, because things aren't working out the way that you think that they need to for you to be safe, happy, healthy, loved, whatever the case is. But things are actually working out better in a different way. It's like just because this one path to get to where you want to go isn't working out doesn't mean there's not more opportunities or other paths to get to this finish line. I mean, there's the four of wands right there, the same one we have in your immediate future, right? And then you have a personal issue reaches a resolution. So a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety about where you're at, but a lot of, of that is stemming from the fact that you think you things need to be different than they are to get to where you want to be which is where kind of surrendering and letting go and trusting the process and trusting the universe really comes into play. But that's, you know, that's challenging when, you, when you've been through a lot. So I understand that. All right, current energy for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know about their current energy? Goodness sakes, Aquarius, you guys are really freaking going through it. Ten of Swords. Okay, hang on. Four of Cups in reverse. Or is this in reverse? No, it's upright. Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like here you are, whether you're male or female, is the King of Swords. Let me see. I want to, I, I actually want more on this message. it kind of feels like you feel like the universe is kicking you while you're down. Yeah. I, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like it feels like you can't catch a break. But then, yeah, it, you still have this underlying message of things are not as bad as they seem, but man, yeah, that's, that's really tough energy that you're struggling with. And that's why I feel like I wanted to be so careful in delivering that message because I'm don't. i not living your life. You know, I don't know how things are for you, but it's, it's obvious by the energy that they're, they're painful and difficult and, and you're going through it. But yeah, things aren't as bad as they seem. Who had this? Virgo had a message that was similar. I actually think the title of their video is Things Are Better Than They Seem. But this one's definitely hounding on that message that like things seem worse than they are in the big picture. That's why you have this discernment. It's like be very careful right now. Because the way that we respond to our energy is how we create a reality. So if we respond, you know, from a highly emotional energy out of fear, out of doubt, out of insecurity, out of pain, um... We, we have a harder time creating better experiences for ourselves, which is why right now is a time to, to try your hardest to really trust in the bigger picture. Trust that things are working out in a way you might not be able to see right now. Because, yeah, things are tough, but they're going to get better. What does Aquarius need to know about their current energy? Slowly but surely, things are moving toward what you desire. And you might be like, how the hell? <laughs> because it feels the opposite of that, which I kind of get with this Four of Wands in reverse, because 
you know, the four again four of wands upright this is like that um, celebration finish line kind of energy that I see in your immediate future right now it feels like I, I don't know you're not it doesn't feel like you're very close to this um, for you like you don't feel as if you're very close to this but yet the overall energy is slowly but surely you, you are actually moving towards what it is that you desire um, that's why I feel like thing, yeah things aren't as bad as they seem okay what does Aquarius need to know about their immediate future should they move forward in alignment with their higher self? Immediate future for Aquarius. Ooh. <laughs> That's funny. You're the Hierophant with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's like your perspective, you won't feel like you've lost anything. You won't feel, like, this is very much an energy of feeling as if everything has happened for you. Like, feeling as if you look back and you're like, oh, yeah, that happened so that I could have something better. Or that happened so I could get here. Or that happened so this could happen. Um, this is very much that energy because it's, you know, kind of a new, fresh perspective. And then the Five of Pentacles in reverse, you know, releasing this feeling of loss. Releasing this feeling of kind of emptiness. Um, like like feeling a void in your life of some sort. Um, so yeah, I feel that's kind of where things are headed. And, and like the biggest thing you need to know is that regardless of what has been lost, that loss, you won't feel as if you've lost anything. Uh, not that you, you won't, not necessarily that you won't feel like you've lost anything, but you'll see... How do I say this? Give me just a second. It will feel as if everything has happened the way that it's supposed to. Like that's what it's saying is like you won't feel as if you're missing out. You won't feel as if things could have been better a different way. I feel like when you get to where you're going, what this is saying is you won't feel a loss or a lack in your life. All right. What can Aquarius expect in their immediate future should they move forward in alignment with their higher self? I mean, there's a Six of Pentacles again. And the Two of Wands. Oh my gosh. Receiving what aligns with you. There's the Page of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Wands. It's almost like... It kind of feels like this energy of you being like, oh, Universe, I'm, I'm so sorry for doubting you. Like, it feels like, yeah, that energy of, of relief almost, but not even just that. Like, you're like, oh, okay, sorry. Like, I, I should have distrusted you all along because of how things turn out. Like, they turn out better than you expected. Better than you can cur currently expect because of what you're going through. But right now, the most important thing, I feel like, is for you to continue to take steps um, in faith. That's why I feel like you have this, this perspective in your future energy of, of not feeling like you've lost anything because yeah, it's, it's almost like you're like, I can't believe I doubted your universe. Like, I can't believe that <laughs> I didn't trust this because things are so good now or things have worked out so well. What does Aquarius need to know about their immediate future? Should they choose to move forward in alignment with their higher self? Immediate future for Aquarius. Excitement returns. Interesting. Because I feel, and that's kind of what I feel about your current energy right now, is, is there's kind of this lack of, you know, there's more fear about the future than there is excitement about the future. And I feel in your immediate future, you start, you, you, you kind of switch from going, from being afraid of what could happen to being excited about what could happen. It's like excitement returns. Because I feel like you've been spending a lot of time being afraid of what could happen because for obvious reasons. I mean, it's obvious that you're dealing with a lot right now. But yeah, I feel like things turn out better than expected, even though they feel rough right now. Now, all of this is should you choose to move forward in alignment with your higher self. We're going to hop on over to the extended, which is what can you do right now to ensure that you're moving forward in alignment with your higher self 
Uh, any information for that is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Aquarius, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Aquarius, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. All right, bye, Aquarius.